Hey guys, it's Christy again, and today I wanted to film for you a video about bodies and how the public perception of them is fucked up, to be completely honest. So, as you can all tell, you're looking at me right now, I am overweight. I am. I have probably 60 extra pounds of fat on my body. I am not fat. I have fat on me. Just like I am not an elbow. I have elbows. So I'm not, I'm not fat, but I have fat on me. And you probably do too. Um, but if you don't, um, I want to apologize to you. And I want to apologize to you because I feel like the people who get talked down to the most about their weight are not people with fat on them. It's skinny people, actually. It's people who are thin. It's people who have a naturally thin structure, who, regardless of their metabolism or whether they exercise a lot or whether they don't or whether they were just born thin, they get the most shit out of everybody. And if you're watching this video and you are very thin, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm overweight and I have been my entire life. Do you think I ever hear from anybody though? Oh God, don't eat that cheeseburger. Ooh, you should probably eat a salad. Oh God, you are so fat. You probably were just born fat. But I'm telling you right now that a skinny person has no doubt heard in their lifetime. Oh, shut up. You don't even know. You're so skinny. Oh, I wish I was as skinny as you. God, go eat a sandwich. Oh, you should just, you can just eat as much pizza as you wanted. It's not even right. Telling somebody who's skinny, just go eat a hamburger. That is as so as fucked up as walking up to a fat person and saying, go eat a salad. It's not right. It's not right to body shame anyone. For one, probably half the damn people out there who are skinny or thin or whatever the word you want to call it, don't want to be as thin as they are or it's just part of their damn genes. They can't do anything about it. I know a couple of people who they could eat all damn day and they won't be able to gain weight. It's just their metabolism. They were born that way. Genetics play a huge role in whether you're going to be fat or skinny. I didn't used to believe it. I was like, genetics are bullshit. People are fat because they eat too much. I totally do eat too much. I eat ice cream and raviolis for breakfast, but I, don't deny that. And I don't think you should tell me that you're too fat. You should probably go drink a smoothie instead of that. Like it's totally true. Maybe she is really thin, but you know what? Telling her to go eat a hamburger isn't fair. So like, okay, I'm going to give you a scenario. I'm at a restaurant with a friend, right? We're both sitting down to pizza. I'm going to use pizza as an example here because you can measure it in slices. So she's super duper thin, right? Super thin, like, but she can pack it away. She can eat like damn 10 slices of pizza. I'm overweight and I can't even eat that much pizza. Like I could probably like legitimately, if I really wanted to eat like four pieces of pizza, but I'd probably eat like, like two, maybe three pieces of pizza. I feel like that's kind of a normal amount for people to eat, right? So if we're sitting down to dinner, you are sitting across the table. You might totally judge me for sitting there eating pizza. She just ate three times the amount that I ate. It's cute when she does it. It's cute. Oh my God, look at you. You can really pack it away. Where do you put it all? That's what you say to her. But to me, who ate less pizza, who just has a terrible metabolism, and I could barely damn eat anything without being, you know, putting it onto my fat stomach or my chin, you look at me like a disgusting, gluttonous pig. And it's not right for us to compare ourselves to somebody else because of our perception of who they are. I may eat healthier than the skinny person over there, but she has a really high metabolism or she had the genes and I don't. And that's fucking stupid for us to compare how somebody else is or how we publicly, publicly perceive them based on their weight. I mean, I get a lot of comments on here um, from girls who, I have a video up on my YouTube channel about how I had lost some weight and it has a lot of views. For me at least, it's got like 260,000 views. And so I get comments on that video daily. And the comments I get a lot, and I get a lot of private messages from people who are so unhappy with themselves because of their weight. And to be honest, I've made a lot of videos about 
having confidence, public perception, um, not giving a shit what anybody thinks about you. But regardless of having these videos out there or saying these things, I still get so many comments from people who are unhappy with their body or who get made fun of for their weight or etc. There's a lot of different things that people comment and leave me messages about on the daily. And as I've said before, who fucking cares what you look like? But you know what? If you are one of those people who's ever walked up to somebody who's skinny and just been like, ugh, I hate you. I hate you, you're so skinny. You don't mean it, you're being friendly, you're being sweet, you didn't mean any harm by it. You're giving them a compliment because to you, being skinny is a great thing because you may be overweight. But to them, maybe it's a burden. Maybe they were so skinny their whole life that they were called twiggy or toothpick or just as much as you might have been called fat ass or beached whale or whatever the hell somebody called you when you were a kid, maybe they got called the opposite and maybe it really, really upsets them. And you know what? Just because they're skinny doesn't mean they can't also develop an eating disorder. And it doesn't mean that they don't get hurt by those comments. So I, I've i never had that issue. I've never had someone be up to me and be like, oh, shut up, you are so skinny. Like. But I really, really try, I really try not to do that to people because it's not fair. Um, if they, now if they work their ass off at it and they have were overweight and now they're like badass, like bikini model competition, like you can be like, you look damn good. You look amazing. Those are the things people wanna hear. They don't wanna hear, ugh, I hate you. You are so skinny, you can eat anything you want. You, uh, oh my God, eat a cheeseburger, why don't you? People don't fucking like hearing that because I'm sure for one, they hear it all day. It's like, you think you're hilarious because you just told this really funny joke. But really, it was just annoying. It's just like STFU. Nobody cares what you're saying right now. As I grow up and as I evolve in my adulthood and as I try to be more accepting of my appearance and stop giving a shit about what other people think about me, because it is a work in progress. It's really hard. It's hard to stop caring. Like I was looking at myself in wedding photos this morning and my dad's wedding was this last weekend and I hated every picture I saw because I was like, <laughs> do you know what? Nobody else sees me like that. I look beautiful. And everyone else at the wedding looked beautiful and as I looked at their pictures that they probably would hate seeing of themselves, I think that one thing. I thought you looked beautiful. Nobody else is looking at my chin. Nobody else should care about what your weight is. Nobody should care. And you, if you do this, make a conscious effort to really please stop saying anything about anybody's body because to be honest, it's none of your damn business and it's none, they're, they're not looking for your opinion. They didn't wake up that morning and put on their clothes and hope that when they got to work or when they got to the store or when they were hanging out with you at a party, you would mention their weight to them. They really, really were hoping you probably wouldn't. Um, and whether or not you think it's harmful to say things like that to people who are skinny, because uh, they're skinny, they have nothing to worry about. Doesn't mean anything. Just because they're skinny doesn't mean they don't have issues or doesn't mean they don't hate their body. Because I can pretty much tell you, every single woman I've ever met hates their body. And it's so stupid. It's so stupid for us to hate our bodies. Like, you know what? It's, it's nobody else's business what I eat, how I take care of myself, um, even constructive criticism comments, like, you know, just be way healthier for you if you just, it's none of your business. It's none of your business what they eat, how they became skinny, or how I became fat. So without trying to be mean or sit here and yell at anybody, um, it's, it's a double-edged sword here, and I know it really feels like you're not saying anything mean to them um, because they're skinny, so they have nothing to worry about, but that's just not how the world works. <laughs> Everybody has their issues and I can guarantee you that's one of them for people. So uh, I thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you're super duper skinny. Has anybody said that sort of thing to you before? And vice versa, if you're overweight, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure just because I, I've got jiggle arms. I know how being overweight is, but I'm pretty sure you're probably like me where you get way less comments being big than you do if you were skinny. Um, those people hear a lot more because it's almost socially unacceptable to say it to fat people, but why is it socially acceptable to say it to skinny people? Don't know. 
And just because you're skinny doesn't mean you're healthy. And just because you're fat doesn't mean you're unhealthy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys would like to follow me on my other social media sites, all the links are in the description of this video. If you want to see more videos from me, just subscribe to my channel. There will be a link also right at the top in the description of this video. And uh, I will see you guys at my next video, which should be soon. Hey guys, it's Christy again, and today I wanted to film for you a body, a body, I wanted to film a body for you, <laughs> with my big fat key key, marsha 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 and, hang on, I gotta, my key got mad or some little hand, I'm gonna brush it out, brush it, brush it, brush it, were you licking your little self and you just couldn't get it out? I know you're biting me, you're all pissed off. I'm getting it off though, regardless of what you think, Mr. Messer. Got it, Messer! Look at that big old hairy ball. Oh god, big old hairy ball. <laughs>